In this video, we'll be seeing how to integrate Shaka player by Google in your project. So this is the demo of what we are going to do in this video. So you can see the player and we are having play, pause and fast forward, rewind, option to mute the audio and the quality option. You can either choose auto or you can choose any one quality from here. And you can also go to the full screen mode. So we'll be seeing how to integrate this video player in this video. Here you can see I have created a folder and a file index.html. Now we'll be seeing how to implement the player here. So you can see a folder and we are having the video files, chunks of the video file. You can see the video file MPD here. So inside this we are having the different quality options. So first of all, we have to create this converted video file. For that, you can come to this URL and you can download this project. This will help you to convert the video to .mpd format. That is the dash format. So this is the demo of the project. So when we click this convert to M3 U8, by default, it will be converted to HLS format. So you have to download this and open the source code. And this is the way the zip file will look like when you extract it and open it on VS code. So you have to open the HLS create.php file. And inside that you can see an option on the bottom here on the line 52, you can see video and here we are converting it to HLS. Instead of that, you can convert it to dash. So simply type dash here. Now this will convert the video to dash JS format and you have to convert the output video file name to mpd so that's all now this will convert the video to dash js format instead of hls so let's try running this and check it out so here you can see i am having the video file kept inside the folder video and its name is video.mp4 if you are having any other name you have to change the video name on the top you can see it here i have given the command on each line so you can know that so if you are having any other name, you simply have to change it here. So I have kept the video inside the video folder and you have to check if you are converting it to dash or HLS and also check the video file name extension. If you are using HLS, you have to give M3 U8 and if you are using dash, you have to give MPD. I will update all this to the server and update the source code, which you will be downloading after this video. So this is the demo of the conversion process. You have to keep the video inside the folder and open this folder inside the SAMP. You can see how installed the SAMP and placed it inside htdocs folder. And you can open this like this. Then you have to click this button. So you can see the progress bar of the conversion here. So you can see the conversion has been completed 100%. Now let's go and check our folder. Now here you can see a folder named output. So you can see so many files inside this. So you can open it inside the explorer. Now here you can see these are the files that you have to use. So we have done the conversion successfully. So after converting the files, you have to come to the project and you have to place the video files like this. Okay. So this is one video. So we are having the chunks of video placed like this. You have to use .mpd because we are using dash js for this. So we have to use that. Now you can start the implementation of the player. For that, you have to come to this documentation. I will give the link on the description so you can check that. And you have to copy this much from here. And you have to paste this here. Close the script tag. Now you can remove all the comments. I will zoom out a little bit. Hope it's visible for you. Now here you have to open the script tag here. Okay. Now you have to Cut this from here and you have to come inside the body and paste it here. 
okay hope you understand what's happening we simply place the script inside the body tag that's all this much okay now we can remove all the comments Now you can see this line, you can remove that. Since we have added the script on the bottom, you don't have to add it on the top. Okay, so that's why we removed it. We can also remove this line because we will not be checking the casting option. Now we have to give the URL for the player. So for that, you have to go to this URL. I will give the link on the description. And you have to copy the link that is the player dot UI this one the last one okay so copy this and paste it here now we have given the JavaScript link we also have to give the CSS link for the controls dot CSS so go to this URL itself and you can see the second one controls dot mean dot CSS so copy this and you can paste it here So here you can see we have given the links let me give an enter so you can see it properly okay now you can see we are having the script tag and the CSS part okay now you can run this and you can view the player properly because we already have the link given by the Google default one it will work it's that simple you simply have to give the proper URLs for the library and you can simply run it so let's change this link to the one that we have created here this one for that let's change this from here so the folder name is video slash dash slash and we have to give the file name that is video.mpd Now that's all you can save this file now we have to run this for running this I am using the live server plugin we can simply install it from here on the extensions so let's run it so here you can see the player is opening let's try playing it so it's playing let's mute it let's play it okay you can see the player is working properly and you can see the quality options and all here okay so in order to change this from here to this here so let's change this quality option from here to here okay so for that you have to come here on this line and hit enter now we have to create a constant for configurations now inside this we have to specify what all things you need on the player for that let's set the control panel elements now you can choose what all things you need so first of all we can give a play and pause now we need rewind and fast forward now we can give a space so that the things on the left will stick on to the left and things on the right will go to the right there will be space in the middle so let's give a space for that now we can give the mute option and the volume option and let's give the quality and full screen Okay, now we have given all the necessary configurations. You can set the configurations like UI dot configure inside that you have to pass the constant. So that's all. Now you might be wondering from where I got all these names, the rewind, fast forward, all these options. So for that you have to go to the documentation part and here you can see on the right side UI configurations. 
configuring the UI. Okay, choose that option and you can see all the available options here. See? So that's all. You can simply enable fast forward like this, enabling this. Okay, now you are having the cast option inside the overflow menu buttons. You can set the overflow menu buttons also, just like this inside the configure constant. And there are many more options like this. So you can simply read this and you will understand. So you can see the options here. Okay, these are the options. The quality option, loop, play in picture in picture option, fast forward, rewind, full screen option, volume option, etc. So you can see all this here. So this is where from where I got all the options. So let's try running our project. So you can see our player is working. So you can see the space is not working properly. So let's go to the code. So we have given the name space here. It's actually spacer. You have to give an R here. So that's all. So now you can see the space is working properly. See? So for all this, you can go to the documentation and you can see it here. See the spacer adds a chunk of empty space between the adjacent elements. Okay. So you can read all this and you can add and customize the player properly. So you can see the player is playing properly. You can see the mute option, volume option, the quality option, full screen option. Everything is working. So hope you understand the video. If you want to download the source code for this, you can check this URL. I'll give the link on the description and you can download it from here. So I have not uploaded the source code for this video. here. So I will upload it after the recording so you can check it. So these are many other players that we have done. We are also having the complete video for all this. Check the YouTube link and you can do it completely free of cost. If you want to download the source code, you simply have to pay $1 or 99 rupees and you can download the source code simply like that so hope you understand how to implement shaka player so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos